Hi, I'm Jonathan Simon. I have a joint appointment with the Electrical and Computer Engineering Department and also the Biology Department. I'm also associated with the program in Neuroscience and Cognitive Sciences called NACS, and I'm an affiliate of ISR. I study uh, neuroscience, especially auditory neuroscience, but my original background was in physics. My undergraduate degree from Princeton and my PhD from University of California, Santa Barbara, both in physics, and I studied general relativity for several years before moving into neuroscience. My, uh, my start in neuroscience was in Shihab Shama's lab, where I studied uh, the processing of spectrotemporal aspects of sounds in auditory cortex. And since then, I became faculty at the University of Maryland. And now I still study auditory neuroscience, but different areas. Most of my research is dedicated to auditory neuroscience. I'm especially interested in, well, I'm interested in all parts of the brain, but the brain is a big place and it helps to have an area of focus. My area is how the brain processes sounds. I'm especially interested in temporal processing, which is to say sounds have a lot of, of uh, properties um, that depend on time associated with them. At the very highest speeds, it could be the frequency of sound, or it could be from the location of a sound, that the sound hits one ear before the other ear, depending on its location, or it could be much slower aspects, such as the rise and fall of my voice over the course of fractions of a second, or even slower, the rise and fall of my voice over the course of an entire sentence, which might last as long as a second. The brain uses all of those different aspects of timing when it's processing sounds for different purposes, and I'm interested in all of them. At the moment, I'm spending most of my time looking at how the brain processes complex sounds, such as speech, especially natural sounds, and even music, um, using a technique called magnetoencephalography, usually abbreviated MEG, which looks at how the brain um, processes just about anything, including sounds. It, uses, it can be used on human subjects, which is how I use it. It's completely non-invasive and silent. Um, unlike fMRI, it uh, has very high temporal resolution, uh, fractions of a second instead of several seconds, which is why it's especially useful to me in my auditory neuroscience studies. And most lately, I'm especially interested in the processing of these complex sounds like speech in more complex environments, such as a cocktail party, where there are several people talking at the same time, or when there's one person talking and there's a lot of background noise, and the job of the brain is to pick out which signals are of interest and suppress all the signals that are not of interest.